Meet Paul and Brenda Gilsinger, an Indiana couple with a lifelong affinity for the University of Notre Dame. Upon Paul's graduation from Notre Dame in 1973, he returned home to Winnemac, Indiana, a rural farming community an hour south of campus. He married Brenda, his high school sweetheart, and worked in the Gilsinger family's thriving John Deere business. I was passionate, very passionate. And uh, we built a new store in 1978, and uh, we were off to the races from there. Paul and Brenda not only grew the John Deere business, they grew their family, who also became part of the Notre Dame family. I feel now I am a part. I'm not, uh, even though I didn't go there, uh, our son did, our daughter got her master's there. Um, I now feel like I'm part of Notre Dame too, and it's, it's a special part of my life. You, you look at those things in your, in your life, uh, what is it that, that makes you passionate? And, and what is it that um, you want to do with the rest of your life? As the success of their business grew, Paul and Brenda started thinking about the next chapter in life. They wanted to find ways to share their success, steward their resources, and give back to Notre Dame and their community, which had given them so much. I believe you get to a point in your life where it's more important to you uh, to, th to think about the whole giving and how you can help people uh, coming up or, or down the road and uh, how, you want to, how you want to do that. It's not about necessarily accumulating. There's, there's a time in your life that's about accumulating. You accumulate for, for uh, whatever reason, but a lot of times to help your kids or to plan for retirement or things like that. But there will be a time come that it's gonna be about giving. And I wish it could have come sooner. You know, you, you think of all this stuff that you're doing now and you're thinking, I hope I live long enough to, you know, do a lot more. Paul and Brenda met with the gift planning department at Notre Dame and learned about a donor advised fund a way to give to Notre Dame and their community at the same time. Brenda and I thought that was a great idea because then we could uh, kind of do our uh, thing with Notre Dame, the uh, causes uh, within Notre Dame that we saw as important. And we could also uh, help our community and still fly under the radar somewhat. Then we can pick and choose the causes in the in the community that we want to discuss while sharing in the return of the, of the Notre Dame endowment, which is also managed by Notre Dame people. How can it get any better? In Paul and Brenda's home of Pulaski County, 95% of the land, more than a quarter million acres, is devoted to crops and pastures that feed America. Yet many folks have day-to-day -day food needs that aren't met. The Gilsingers were moved to do something about it. With the Donor Advised Fund, we can look at that issue that uh, here we are in the middle of a big fields, big farms, the land of plenty, the Midwest, the breadbasket of the nation. And here we have these hungry people in our community that it's just, it's just hard to envision, you can look at those types of situations with this donor advised fund and you can help them. Maybe we can get that done where people are not hungry. The University of Notre Dame donor advised fund is a powerful philanthropic vehicle that leverages the Notre Dame endowment, one of the best performing endowments in higher education. To maximize the impact of a donor's gift to Notre Dame, as well as gifts to other qualified charitable organizations, each Notre Dame donor advised fund is comprised of two separate funds. At least 50% of the gift goes to a retained fund, which is directed to an area of the donor's choosing at Notre Dame. The second fund is a distributable fund that is eligible for distribution to other qualified charities chosen by the donor or also to Notre Dame. So the donor advised fund at the University of Notre Dame allows us to do many of the gifting ideas that we have. 
if we can help encourage people uh, that, hey, this is a, a very flexible tool for you to help with your giving, if you're in the spirit of giving. And, um, and we are. I said, yeah, you know, that's, that's us. It's, it's, it's better to give than to receive. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's, it's so much better. It's given us the opportunity to touch a lot of lives and do a lot of good.